Good morning. It's a Monday. It rained again over the weekend. We finally got a significant rainfall. Like We'd been getting enough to keep us going for the last few weeks, but we had um, somewhere between uh, 1.2 and an inch and a half yesterday morning, Saturday night overnight. So uh, we're in great shape right now. That is People, farmers, you'll sometimes hear somebody say it was a million dollar rain. Well, that's a little bit of an exaggeration on most individual farms, um, but that rain legitimately could have made us a hundred grand um, just in increased yields from the beans and the corn. So, whew, awesome. And we've got the irrigation shut down for several days, it looks like. So that is good. Uh, Dad and I are going to go up to the irrigation field now, check the rain gauge up there, and uh, he wants to bring the 4440 back so he can use that on some stuff. So. up here today oh yeah we got lots of rain in there <sighs> about what we had at the farm 1.3 1.4 oh yeah dad's gonna take that tractor back I think he wants to put it on his uh, 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 trailer dump trailer might as well take that home since we're not going to be using it up here this week. It doesn't look like. Our traveler did not quite finish on Saturday. Um, it was raining, uh, but I had gone away, kind of, and uh, got an alert that it shut down about an hour before it was supposed to. Yeah, we got 96 feet left, it says. Uh, I think we ran out of gas in my Honda engine. I looked at it before when I started it up. I'm like, oh, I need to fill that up, and then I forgot to do it, so... Um, but it was already starting to rain at that point. I had dad come up and just shut the generator down. We will worry about this later. It can sit just like that for the week. All right, so the other thing I needed to do this morning was go out and do a little seed business stuff, go see some customers. So I am off doing that. We are over towards Blissfield, Michigan. Can you guys see over there? Not really, behind the giant ragweeds. Uh, there's a pivot running. Apparently it didn't rain here. I don't know. Giant rags, can't see anything. All right, well, I killed most of the day. Uh, it's like uh, almost four, yeah, I killed most of the day. Anyway, I got back to the farm here, and uh, Brock is around. He's doing some mowing on some wheat stubble. Dad called me after I left this morning and said that uh, they want to come in and start tiling this week, and we weren't really ready for them, or they told us earlier it would be a couple of weeks yet. So uh, we need to mow the wheat stubble down where we're going to tile just to make it easier and everything. Organic weed zapper uses electricity to whack. Yep, that's what it is. That would be cool to watch run. I don't know where he's going, but uh, in organic production, they can't use herbicides or any chemicals to control weeds, and so uh, they'll use electricity. Basically, a giant generator sitting on the back of that thing that electrifies the rods on the front, and when the weeds touch it, it zaps them, kills them. It takes a lot of power to run. Okay, so we've been having some trouble with this tractor overheating, and uh, that was what Brock assures me was happening. Anyway, um, it was cooled down by the time I got here, so we're gonna run a little bit, see what we can make happen. Uh, but essentially, we were mowing this wheat stubble down. We're gonna do some tiling, mostly in that back corner. It looks like he's got most of it done already, what we needed to get done. But uh, we'll just keep mowing it. It's good to knock these mares tail down before they go to seed here anyway, so. Dad's doing some digging, looking for the old tile. This field is tiled. We've owned it for a very long time, and uh, it's it's not bad, but we think there's some stuff breaking down, and uh, the back end here was tiled before we bought it and not close enough, so we're going to split them and make it better. Well, I was starting to think, I still am starting to think Brock's making stuff up. We've got this one flashing. I don't, well, that one's done that for the life of this tractor, more or less. I think we looked it up one time or something and it's water and fuel but you go and drain the water separator and there's nothing in it so uh, we don't 
really worry about that one because it doesn't seem to do anything or affect anything. We'll keep driving. I got pictures. Happens. Though. Yeah. I got pictures. Uh huh. I'm sure you do. Dad's digging holes, locating tile. We'll check that stuff out when we're done diagnosing non-broken tractors. Okay, there's our code. Stop. Transmission oil temperature too high. Check oil level and filter. But it's gone now. Yeah, so our transmission oil is getting hot. So there's a couple of things that could be causing this. Um, yeah, I'm about. Oh, that stuff smells terrible. Anyway, it is possible it's a hydraulic oil level thing, although we topped that off the other day, and there is oil in the gauge, although you don't really just check it with it running like this. So but we could check that. We could change oil filters, transmission oil filters. Uh, I'd have to look at the filter to know when it was done or look in the book. But I don't think it's been outrageously long, hours-wise anyway. Uh, the other thing that we should... And, uh, need to do is to blow out the radiator. Yeah, you can see all our ragweed pollen from the other day there. So this tractor has these nice screens. Pull that out. They catch a lot of that, but when you pull it out, it sucks it all right into the radiator. So, obviously the one back there is the engine coolant radiator, and then we've got oil coolers in front. And um, while I, I, they don't look too bad, um, we should blow those out or rinse them out with water and flush it so that it can cool better. The thing that makes me think that's not really the issue is that our water temp's never getting hot. I just shut the tractor off so we could check the oil level properly. There's plenty of oil in it, so it's not a oil level issue. So, uh, blowing it out and checking filters, I guess, is our best modes or uh, things to check. I'm trying to clean the deck off here a little bit while we're sitting waiting for it to cool down. I think we will run it home and uh, use the hose and rinse out the oil coolers and stuff and see if that makes a difference. All right, so I'm gonna have him run that home. I'll meet him there. But I'm gonna go back in the gator, we'll go check in with Dad. This is our chicken litter pile. There's quite a bit of it here. Uh, we're spreading two tons of the acre in our all of our wheat stubble and some of our bean stubble. It's it smells terrible. Oh, you can see broken eggshells in it, feathers, all kinds of fun stuff. Ugh. It is, however, very very good fertilizer. Um, we've had excellent luck with the chicken litter uh, the past few years that we've been using it. Uh, we like it, so we use a lot of it because it does a good job. There's a lot of nitrogen in it but some of it is um, uh, mineralized or it's it's a uh, slow release kind of nitrogen where it comes available for our corn crop the next year we don't lose it all right away it's got phosphorus in it, it's got some potassium it's got a lot of calcium uh, this stuff is coming out of an egg laying facility about 30 35 miles southwest of here where they have eight million chickens and eight million chickens produce a lot of litter oh boy Old clay tiles. Mm-hmm. 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 Let's see what else he's found. So Dad's trying to locate tiles. We've got this really cool old tile map. Well, yeah, Dad made it when we tiled before, so he's using that and trying to figure out where everything's at out here and we're gonna fill in the gaps. This is this is our super accurate measuring method. Come on, focus. There we go. Steps, we're counting steps. Well, really, he's looking for 315 feet, but check this out. So we've got some older tile maps and, like, some stuff from before we bought this. These are these are notes from when they tiled it way back, way back when. And this, if, if you'll notice, it says 100 steps from road. 100 steps, 135 steps, 170 steps. Like, that's super accurate measuring there. But, hey. It's better than nothing, and this one's at least good. This is the tile that we put in in 1994, I guess. Well, not even all of that, because a lot of these are clays. And yeah, most of these are clays, actually. So, we're going to fix it up. All right, well, I kind of want to stick around here and help Dad dig that tile up and see. He stepped that one off there and found a corner on his tile map, and he assures me he's within... 
within five feet. I want to see. But we got to go help Rock get this tractor working. There's a transmission oil cooler underneath, it sounds like, that might be plugged up with crap. So we need to take a couple of shields off and do some cleaning, I guess. So I believe that that is a oil cooler up in there that she's pretty dirty. So we're going to rinse it off and see if that makes a difference or not. Alright, well we got the radiators blown out, we got coolers, anything we could find that looks like it cools oil down. Check the air filter. I think we're going to have to try it again see if we keep having problems. If we do, we'll look farther. Alright, well I went to go pick up my coolers from the sweet corn delivery that we made on Friday and then remembered that my wife has a meeting and I got the kids so we had to go pick up Mareli. Taking her into Grandma. Grandma doesn't know she's coming, but that's okay. That's what Grandmas are for. Okay, so um, we Brock and I, irrigating? we're done irrigating for right now because it rained the other day, you remember? Yeah, but that drain over there is um, flooded. Oh, the, cool. pump, the dike, we got to pump it out where yeah, the sprayer cool. is? Yep. Yeah, there's water on the um, sidewalk. Okay, we'll get it, okay? Um, anyway, after Brock and I uh, flushed that radiator out on the 7520, he went down and mowed the filter strip. Ran for about an hour before he got a transmission pressure sensor code and some other code and he was done so he was bringing it back at that point and then the high temp or overheated temp transmission code came on on the way back from? that came from the scrapers when i pulled them off it was in the, between the wheels anyway so um flushing it did not did solve you our problem or did I, go I put that there i never knew you had a red this that's our sunflower chisel plow. Do you remember? Oh, oh yeah. Where was that at? Do you remember where that was at? It was back there where the seeds were. That's right, back in those weeds, wasn't it? I didn't remember it being that big. You don't remember it being that big? Brock and I got it out last week. Again, anyway, um, I am not sure what sensor it is on this transmission. I feel like we did one two years ago when we had it in the shop. So I could probably dig through some old YouTube videos and find that, but I don't have time to mess with it right now. So we do have the 4440 here. We can unhook the mower and hook the 4440 back up to it if we need to keep the mower moving. Um, but I have too much going on this week to diagnose this tractor. So I'm actually gonna call the dealer in the morning and give them the codes and just say, come fix it because I just don't have time right now. So um, yeah, that's how we're gonna handle that. Uh, tomorrow, what are we doing tomorrow? We're going to the farm show. We're going to the farm show, that's right. So what's on Wednesday? Tomorrow is Tuesday, what's on Wednesday? I go to school. Your first day of? Kindergarten. Kindergarten, that's right. Wednesday is Ryland's first day of kindergarten. So tomorrow, on his last day of summer, we're gonna go to the farm show together, aren't we? And we're gonna take Grayson, and we're gonna take Aunt Anna. If she wants to go. She does, I talked to her this morning. And we're gonna take Brock. So we got a full trip, full crew going up to the farm show tomorrow. We will film that for you guys so that you can take a look at some of that stuff. It's not an all-day trip. We should be back early afternoon, and we will find something else to do around here. Um, Wednesday, I've got his first day of kindergarten, so I'm sure I will take him to school in the morning. I've got a couple other things set up. We've got a meeting in the morning with uh, uh, some accounting stuff to take care of, and then we'll have the afternoon to work on some stuff. And then on... Thursday and Friday, I am heading to Illinois for a precision planting golden harvest meeting. Um, went to that last year. It was a really good meeting, so uh, I will be going back Thursday and Friday of this week. Unlikely that I'll be able to film there, but we'll see what I can do. So the uh, video is maybe a little bit more sporadic this week. Actually, what I would like to do is uh, go down and film my plot tour videos that I like to do every year. Go through each individual hybrid and talk about it a little bit more. Uh, and, and run through that kind of stuff. And if I get a chance to do that tomorrow or on uh, Wednesday, then I'll have those videos ready to go for Thursday and Friday instead of the uh, other filming that I can do. So anyway, thanks for watching today. Uh, we do still need to fix my electric fence down there. Oh, ah, 
I'm gonna wrap this up, but I will show you when I get home the uh, dirt work that we did on Saturday. He did a really nice job. We've got some more dirt we need to haul when it dries off enough to do that. Maybe Wednesday afternoon. I don't know. We'll see. So, um, but thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button. Questions, comments, leave them down below, and we will see you uh, again tomorrow at the Michigan Agro Expo up in St. John's, Michigan. Enjoy. So you can see you got that dirt that I had piled off in the front yard, leveled off and a lot that I had piled around the uh, septic tank here. I'm not happy with how high that is, but there's nothing I can do about it. Um, I'm gonna bring some more fill in so we can grade it off a little more gradually, and uh, we'll make it fine. It'll be fine there, so. And then we're, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna put a little bit of more fill in there between the house and here, but we're trying to keep the water coming off the tank from going towards the house, so it's gonna be a little bit of a draw and then it'll taper off to the field there. But uh, you can see he's got this side of the leach field buried really nice. Did just a fantastic job um, leveling it off. And we had two inches of rain yesterday. We still got a little bit wet here. Uh, I've got that catch basin over there that has settled and I need to dig it up and reset it. Um, but it's, it's, it's coming here. So we'll put a little more fill in here. I needed him to move that dirt that I hauled in and and level it off so that I had room to pile more. So we're gonna pile more.